All right, my friends. Hey, I want to show you some of the rock that we're, that we're going through and the different types of rock that the Village Drill Hybrid can now penetrate through. So this rock over here is an igneous rock. That means it's formed through volcanic action. Uh, the second rock here is a sedimentary rock. That means that you know, layers and layers of, of rock and sand have, have been uh, pushed together and created a hard surface. And this is an igneous rock. An igneous rock is usually formed again through volcanic, is one of your hardest rocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pound on some of these rocks and, and hopefully you can actually hear the difference and you'll know kind of the tensile strength or how hard it is and, and what we're drilling through. So as I hit the, uh, the igneous rocks, there's certainly a sound that you can hear and you can see it kind of kind of break up. And so to drill through this type of rock with the village drill hybrid, to go a meter would take about 15 minutes to go a meter, okay? Then you have a sedimentary rock, which is a little harder, and you can hear a different tone to it. So it's, it's much harder, and again, you, you can hear uh, a little bit of a ping, ping uh, uh, to it. So again, going through uh, a rock like this, we've been averaging right under 30 minutes per meter with the new village drill hybrid. Then of course you have uh, the hardest, which is a zigneous rock. And again, we'll listen to the sound and you can just see the hammer fly up off of it. This is some of the hardest rock. Well, most drillers wouldn't even go through this rock. Um, we're penetrating this at somewhere, it, it depends on if we're on a fracture or not, but on the, on the best side, about 50 minutes, up to about three hours uh, to penetrate a meter on, on, this type of a, on this type of a rock. What we're gonna do is look at some of the cuttings. So this is the igneous rock. There's pretty large cuttings, right? The larger the cutting typically indicates the softer the, the rock. We've been on this igneous rock for some time and see if you can see the difference. The cuttings are smaller than, than the volcanic rock that we showed you at the beginning. Then you get into this igneous volcanic and you see how small those cuttings are, okay? An indication of how hard that, that rock is. Most drill rigs would not even attempt to go through this type of a rock. The roads that we had to go through to get here, a big rig couldn't even make it. He couldn't even make it even to the driveway where we're at right now. It would get stuck. The other igneous rocks are things like marble and granite. Most of those rocks are non-water bearing. That means we wouldn't be drilling there anyways because more than likely there's not gonna be any, any water there. In the last uh, probably 10 hours of drilling, we've gone through 13, almost 14 meters of rock. We haven't even hit soil. We've been on rock the entire time. We've been on some of the volcanic rock, we've been on some of the sedimentary rock, and on the, the igneous rock for you know, the last several hours. So uh, it's tough drilling, but because the village drill hybrid, the village drill model is so versatile, number one, to bring it here to a rural community has been a real blessing. And again, because the roads are so bad, it would be almost impossible to actually get a big rig out here. And so the Village Drill Hybrid has about the same amount of power and torque as some of those big rigs. 